Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone and happy 4th of July. In today's video, we're gonna make this great vegan parfait. The thing that I love about this is it's actually the sort of quote unquote whipped cream part is made with aquafaba, which is the brine from chickpeas. Yeah, you heard me chickpeas, but you'd be surprised. This stuff can do almost anything. And today we're gonna make a really festive, festive, fun, colorful parfait. And the reason I wanted to make it vegan is because 4th of July foods are always packed with sugar and so many other things that aren't necessarily great for you. So this is actually a healthy way, healthier way, to enjoy a great 4th of July dessert. Let me show you how to make it. So this recipe begins with a Unlikeliest of ingredients, we're actually gonna use the brine from a can of chickpeas, which is referred to as aquafaba. So basically, the liquid from chickpeas has a lot of the protein properties that you get in eggs. And as a result, you can make meringues with it, or in this case, we're gonna make kind of like a whipped cream. Now I'm gonna add in some cream of tartar. And what the cream of tartar does is actually helps the proteins bind once you whisk them with the air. So you get all that air in there from the hand mixer and the cream of tartar keeps those prote that protein structure in place, which allows it to hold and create that whipped cream effect. So I wanna mix in the cream of tartar just a little bit until I get a little bit of a froth there. And you want just a little bit of froth before you start and then we're gonna add in the other ingredients. Now I'm gonna add in my vanilla extract and now I'm gonna add in some granular sugar. And we're just gonna, it looks all brownish right now, but don't worry, as the air gets in between the liquid, as air bubbles get into the liquid, it will start to get white, just like the froth is. There you have a tasty vegan whipped cream. Now we're just gonna build our parfait, add a little bit of the whipped cream there in the bottom. Add some blueberries. Add more of the vegan whipped cream. Add some raspberries. More vegan whipped cream. What the heck, a little bit more. Add some blueberries. A bit more. Add some raspberries. Top it off a little bit more there. Add some more raspberries on top there. And a flag to make it American. Happy 4th of July. How fun does that look? Okay, so can you believe that, right? Like I said, it's made with chickpea brine, but it totally turns into this lovely whipped cream. Layers of raspberries and blueberries and that aquafaba whipped cream. 100% vegan, easy to make, and the thing that you need to try for this 4th of July. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. If you just watch for the first time, subscribe. And if you wanna talk about food, drop me a comment. I hope you guys have a happy 4th of July.